Thank you for remaining with us. The next hymn that we are about to explore is a hymn entitled, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. And to help us appreciate this hymn, I appeal to you to join me as we use our imagination and go to a river where we see a father swimming with his child and having a good time and then coming out of the water or the sea for that matter. And as he swims and enjoys himself, it's time to go home and he comes out. But he realizes that among those who were swimming together is another child who is still remaining in the water. And while they pack up, the father hears cries for help. He looks into the water and he sees a child drowning. This is not his own child because his child is with him. This is a child that is unknown to him, a drowning child. The father then in turn puts all the things that he was packing on the floor, dives into the water to save a drowning child. But in the process of trying to save this drowning child, the father himself dies. Can you imagine if you were his wife? Can you picture what would go through your heart and mind? How your heart would be torn to lose your husband because he was trying to save someone else. Can you imagine if you have a father and you lose him because he tried to save another child and drowned instead? Can you imagine the turmoil that would go in your heart because of this experience? Yet this is the exact experience that Louisa Stead had when she wrote this beautiful hymn, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." She felt called to go to the mission field at a very early age. And that dream of hers to be a missionary was hindered because of her frail health. At the age of 25, Louisa married and a year later she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Several years after her birth, her young husband suddenly died while trying to save the life of another child who was drowning. But instead of being discouraged, instead of becoming bitter, she used that experience, she used her grief to become better. In response to her grief, she wrote this beautiful hymn, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." Louisa Stead, later in, in the year 1900, she married a South African Methodist minister and together they were missionaries in southern Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, until she died. What amazes me about this hymn is not only the circumstances that caused her to write this hymn. I, in my mind, I can't believe that someone who would lose their husband right in front of their eyes, tragically, would be able to move in such a way through the Holy Spirit to write a hymn such as this. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. How do you trust God when your husband drowns in front of you? I'm sure you would have a similar question. How do you trust God when your baby dies? How do you trust God when you have no food to eat? How do you trust God when you don't know where you are going to live tomorrow? How do you trust God when your mortgage needs to be paid? How do you trust God when you are plagued with trials and temptations? That is the question that she addresses. But out of her deep experience, she says, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord." And the Lord has promised us, when we go through the fire, he would be with us. When we go through the waters, they would not overflow us. God has promised that he will carry us, he will shelter us, and he will lead us through this life. In verse 2, she, she exclaims, oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing, cleansing flood. In fact, she realizes that there is something more to just living this life. 
We need to be saved, not just from drowning, but we need to be saved from our sinfulness. And she says, what an awesome, what an awesome comforting presence it is just to trust in Jesus. She says, yes, it is sweet to trust in Jesus. Just from sin and self to cease. Just from Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. This is what Jesus offers to us. And then after her experience with seeing her husband drowning, she begins to say, I'm so glad I've learned to trust thee. Precious Jesus, Savior friend. And I know that thou art with me, and thou wilt be with me until the end. What an amazing exhibition of faith and trust. And she says in the refrain, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him oh and oh, over and over, oh Lord, you have proven to be a faithful father to me. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust him more. She trusts the Lord, but she said, oh Lord, I want to trust you more. Grant me your grace so that I can trust you more. It's difficult to trust nowadays because people renegade on their word all the time. But Jesus and his word is a sure thing, dear friend. Jesus and his word, you can take it to the bank. Jesus always keeps his promises. And if Louisa, after seeing her husband die in such, under such tragic circumstances, if Louisa, after going through all these experiences, was able to say, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, me too. I would love to say with her and join her in the fourth stanza and say, I'm so glad I learned to trust the precious Jesus, Savior friend. And I know that thou art with me and you will be with me until the end. That is the promise of Jesus, dear friend. He will not desert you. He will not abandon you. He will not forsake you. He will be with you through all your trials and tribulations. When you lose your loved ones, Jesus will be there with you. If only we ask him for grace to trust him more. I pray that as you listen to the words of this beautiful hymn, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus," sung to us by Mandy, I pray that in your heart there would be a growing faith to trust God more. And as she sings the last, the last phrase of the refrain, oh, for grace to trust him more, I pray that we would say, oh, Lord, grant us grace so that we too will be able to say, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to know the self the Lord Jesus Jesus
Thank you, Mandy, for singing this beautiful hymn to us. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. When I think about the experience of Gloria Gaither and that anticipation and trepidation she had in bringing a newborn baby into this world, and she exclaims that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, I know there is hope for this baby of mine. When I think about Louisa and the experience she had in seeing a husband drowning while trying to save the life of another child, I'm amazed at the faith that these women had when they wrote, it is so sweet to trust in Jesus and because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Indeed, tremendous faith and trust. But dear friend, our lives should not be lived on the faith of others. Our lives should not be lived simply because others trusted in the Lord. We can use their examples as indicators and markers of what we can experience should we exhibit such faith and trust again. And I pray right now, at this moment, if you feel like Gloria Gaither, that what, what does the future hold for you? I pray that you'll remember the words of her song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And if you have lost loved ones, and if you are wondering, is it possible to continue to trust in Jesus? I pray you will remember Louisa and you would sing with her, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So that in your struggle, in your present circumstance, whatever you are going through, I pray that as you ask God for faith to trust him more, as you ask him for grace to empower you to trust him more, you will feel the calm assurance, that peace, you will feel that trust and faith that can only come as a gift from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, dear friend, for the world that we live in, for the times in which we live, there is nobody who would suffice to help us meet the challenges of our life except Jesus Christ. Tis so sweet indeed to trust in Jesus. Jesus how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Jesus.